four days before Christmas. There's presents over there, presents over there, presents in here, here, here. Isn't he cute? Yeah, adorable. It's my little Christmas plant. Oh, and the salt water. It's gonna be 35 degrees this you. Christmas, which is colder than it's been the past like five or six years. Christmases they in Maryland. Good. Well, let's just do something that's that's just as special. I think the two of us should just snuggle up on the couch, watch the okay. Santa movie, and drink tea. It is now December 21st and officially four days before Christmas. I am just back from Maryland yesterday and today is go time, man. It is like go time. I have ordered a lot of the gifts that I um, am going to give and they arrived and might put them in my closet. So let me show you what my closet looks like. They kept coming, like I kept getting emails, delivered, 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 delivered. I did all my shopping for Christmas in about, I'm gonna say a week. I like started a little bit late and then just like had to ram through it. Today is the day though that I get to go through and put everything in categories and order and make sure that everybody has the same number of gifts, that um, all the gifts that I ordered have come in. And then this is where I go, okay, do I need to fill in anywhere or did I do duplicates or do I, should I return this one? Because I have a budget for each child and I wanna make sure that they each stay within that budget and that, um, and they're all the same, of course, and that, that the things that they got, that I got them are what were on their list. And sometimes like they'll give me a list and then they'll, they'll change it or I'll realize, oh my gosh, I really thought I wanted to get them that thing. So to keep the numbers the same, either I'll double up in a box, um, but this year I think I'm gonna switch out. Like I'm gonna stick really to my budget this year and make sure that I'm very buttoned up and tight. So I'm gonna show you my closet so far. Hey guys, this is my suitcase from Maryland, but there's presents over there, presents over there, presents in here, 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 and upstairs too. So I'm going to start to unwrap these and make sure that everything is here and do all my counting, check my spreadsheets because I have spreadsheets. That I'm sure you guys do the same thing maybe and um, lay it all out and go, okay, now these are the things I need to get or these are the things I need to switch around um, and get it all organized and put together. So I hope you guys are doing well on your, your shopping or if that's what you do for Christmas, maybe you don't, maybe you do something different and that's fine. Um, but whatever it is, whatever your preparations are as it relates to um, your heart and your physical things and, um, and preparing yourself for Christmas and the birth of Jesus, I hope that you are doing all those things and it's all going smoothly for you. My goal is to have most of this stuff done by tomorrow afternoon so I can just relax and be with family and prepare my heart for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. She just got up and left. Hi, baby. Are you cleaning your room? You know, being an ADHD kid, mm -hmm. some of the things that are hard for me, mm -hmm are things such as cleaning my room. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you why. Because when I clean my room, mm -hmm. I start by making my bed. And that's an easy task, right? Because it takes this much time. And since I can walk around my bed, it's perfect. And it's satisfying to do. And there's you know? a process. Like you know when it's beginning, middle, and end. Like exactly. You know when it's done. Exactly. So, but then the rest of my room, there's stuff all over the place, okay? So an example of what just happened. So I'm putting my stuff away. And then I find that, um, I have like an extra perfume. And I was like, well, what am I gonna do with this perfume? Because it's extra. But I don't even know what to do with my other perfume. So I was like, I'll put them on top of my jewelry box. But then I was like, well, my jewelry box doesn't have a spot yet because I just brought it back from Maryland. So then I opened my jewelry box and I was like, maybe I can put it inside because I had to put my, my other watch inside of it. But then I realized that it was disgusting in there. So I decided to take an extra 20 minutes and clean out my jewelry box. So then I put my watch back in my jewelry box and then I put all the perfume on top. And then I noticed that I had some stuff that Bubble sent me on my desk. And I was like, oh my gosh, mom has stuff that Bubble sent me. So I came downstairs and I got it from mom. And then I came down here and it was just so distracting because there's so much Christmas stuff. And then... You know what you should do? Can I give you a little, a little lesson or a little advice? Because I know, I totally get it because I get like that too. I suggest that you make a list and you keep a pad of paper and a pencil up there. So when you're putting your perfume away and then you realize that you are cleaning out your jewelry box, write down on the list, clean out jewelry box, but don't do that right now. Keep on the task that you're keeping on. Every time you come up with a new task or find yourself going down the rabbit hole, write it down because then you won't forget it and then you'll go back and do it. Lists are very important for you and for Ryan but and for me, very important for me. I can't do anything else until my jewelry box is clean though. 
Okay, well then write down what you abandoned, whatever task it was that you abandoned to do your joy box because then you'll know to get back to it and it'll be organized in your head. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I have a pad of paper and a pencil or a pen. You know right? what would help a lot? What? If you were there with me upstairs. I understand, but I'm doing my stuff down here too and I'm using lists and I'm checking my computer and I'm doing all that stuff. So I think you also need to learn tactics to Is be there able to anything get you're doing feet. today that requires you to not move a lot? No. Not right now. All I want to do is sit in my room with my mom, light my gingerbread candle, play some Christmas music. And we can do that once we're finished with our stuff. No, oh, I want to clean my room. Oh, clean your room while well, I finish well, this. No, I want to clean my How room with this? that stuff. Let me just say this. What am I supposed to do? I might just face I'm gonna give you. I'm going to give you 20 minutes to have your room clean. 20 minutes. I will finish in 20 minutes. You finish in 20 minutes. We will meet back here at, what time is it right now? What's your watch say? I won't be done in 20 minutes. What's your watch say? 225. Okay. 225, 235. At 245, we're meeting right back here. Ready? Well, I won't be done. Well, do whatever you can do. As much as you can do with 245. Ready? I feel like Ryan. Set. When we used to tell him Ryan. Okay. All right, you guys. It is 245. Time is up. Okay. It's looking, believe it or not, it's actually looking a lot better. Okay. So, if you look in here, I started to. Did dad up. help you? Was dad helping you? No. Okay. I started to clean out this How section. Nice that looks. Yeah, okay. Dad helped me with my shades. That was nice, so Mike. So I was like, oh, I'm going to start cleaning out my closet. Yes. This is a big problem. Yes. Moving from Maryland, we just kind of dumped everything in here before I went to college. Right. So I looked in my back corner, and what did I see? What? <gasps> oh, my gosh. That's fantastic. My tree. So. Oh, my gosh. So I put my tree up, and I plugged it in. We were wondering where your tree was. Does it, does it work? Does it light up? No, it doesn't light up. Huh. And so I was like, huh. Well, that's funny, but then I realized that last year it didn't light up either, which is why we got these little fairy lights, remember? Uh-huh. So that's why I had Dad help me with my blinds so I could see, see if they if work. work. And you can't really see them with their full effect here, but... Oh, my gosh. But when cute, it's right? dark, it's yeah. beautiful. Yes. So then I had my, you know, my little ornaments that normally go with my shoes? Yes. It didn't really match with this vibe right here. Okay. So I, I decided to put them over Oh, here. my gosh. <laughs> With my... You're making great progress. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't he cute? Yeah, adorable. It's my little Christmas plant. Very Christmassy. Okay. okay. And so then I just have, to, I have one more bulb that I'm just going to put right here. Anyways, oh, so this has been going well. Right, it does look like it. Are you going to put ornaments on the cat tree? Uh, respectfully, no. <laughs> okay. Um, Good idea. It does, it's not going to be here permanently. It's so cute. So. Thank you. I'm very proud of you. All right. Should we give us, us 10 more minutes? Yeah. So the ten room, more minutes. So I was just starting 10 more minutes. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is it, I, I think we should go 20 minutes. In, in okay. Place. 20 more minutes. Because it's going to take me a while to do my closet. Okay. okay. I need to make it light in here again. Also, I did light my candle mm -hmm. behind you. Mm -hmm. um, so oh, okay. So it could like help me focus now. Yes. Okay. I also need a spot for like rent like this and this. Like these are stuff that like I could use this at some point for something. Mm -hmm. So... It may be in here. Well, that already had. That's already. Okay. Well, you'll find. Oh a place. wait, no, that's actually perfect. Because look what I was putting in there. Boxes. Oh my gosh! Bam. Nothing better. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> All right, Kate. I'll give you twenty minutes. I need twenty more minutes. Okay. See you in a minute. Let's go. Okay, I have worked few hours on this. I'm pretty meticulous. I am pretty good. I am down to a T. I need one more gift and I will be getting it tomorrow and I'm so very excited about it. This is probably the earliest I've ever been finished um, and I have everything boxed up. I will give you a brief. There's some boxes down there. There's some boxes over there. There's some boxes over there. There are some boxes in my closet. So this is all garbage, but there's just some boxes. But um, this is my gift wrap box. Do you guys have one of these? This is how it goes down. So this, these are all boxes I can use, and there's gift or there's tissue paper, and bags, and random boxes, and bows. <laughs> and then I have this guy right here, which keeps all of the some ribbon and stuff, and some tape, and the little tags, gift tags. So it's not super organized, but at least it's all together. And everybody knows this as the gift wrap box or the Christmas, the Christmas wrap box, because there's no like 
I mean, I guess you could use the boxes for other things, but it's not for like birthday wrap and that kind of stuff that goes separately because <laughs> this goes away with the Christmas decorations. So anyway, I'm very, very happy with my progress today. Um, I haven't wrapped at all, but I've at least assembled the boxes. Now I get to wrap and I'll probably wrap tomorrow and hopefully be done. My sister comes in tomorrow and her husband and their children. So my nieces and nephews, my brother-in-law, and then my other brother and his wife, Chris and Sid, and their kids come in on Christmas Day. So we're going to have lots of festivities. I was just going over the schedule again with my mom today. You know, I think I told you guys, we normally celebrate, um, well, Christmas at home in Maryland, right? But now that we're down here, we have to come up with our new traditions. And one of the traditions we used to do at home all the time uh, for, for many, many, many years was we would... Um, on Christmas Eve Eve, we had our Christmas Eve Eve party, so that's on December 23rd, which this year, it's not gonna be much of a party, but maybe just to get together, because I don't really know that many people yet. <laughs> Come be my friend so we, you can go to my party. Um, and then that's the 23rd, and then the 24th, which is Christmas Eve, um, we always would go to Christmas Eve Mass and then go to dinner with our friends. Um, Lori and Bobby and Brady and Kyle, you know them, Brady's Brennan's friend. And so we've done that for years. We go to the same restaurant every year for dinner. And then um, on Christmas Day, oh, so anyway, so Christmas Eve this year, because we won't be able to do that, we won't be in Maryland to be able to have that tradition. So we thought, well, let's just do something that's that's just as special um, that, you know, gets us out of the house after mass. And it'll be like a, like a, like a special, like, um, celebration of Christmas Eve and so when you we found that when you do something a little bit different that's when memories are made right and that's how you how you honor celebrations so instead of just coming back and having the same old dinner we thought oh my gosh now that we're in Florida let's cook out on the beach let's have let's grill on the beach and we'll set up tables and chairs and lights and I had it all planned out you guys I bought I'll show you let me show you what I bought hold on one second so for our dinner I bought these off of Amazon there are one two three four five six eight mason jars and inside them are little lights little fairy lights that you put out in the sunshine and they are solar so i have these ah! <laughs> seven mason jars anyway so i have this little mason jar and he hangs and i bought eight um shepherd's hooks so I was gonna put them all around the like the tables at our beach and everything. And we were, whoops, sorry guys. And we were gonna grill and it was gonna be wonderful. But guess what? The coldest weather in 30 years is gonna be hitting Florida on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, which actually is very exciting because then that means we can wear woolly jammies and we can drink hot cocoa and all that stuff, which normally you wouldn't be able to do in Florida or you wouldn't. Go, not that you can't, but you wouldn't. Um, so we'll have all the, the cool, like cold, wintry stuff going on, but that means that we can't grill out the beach. It's gonna be, they said the low is gonna be 32, <laughs> which is crazy, absolutely crazy. Oh, Ryan, are you still here? Am I bugging you? Hi, I'm vlogging. Wanna say hi? There you go. Excellent. So I'm telling everybody about our Christmas Eve plans, how they've been thwarted by Mother Nature. Some nerds. Yes, uh, Florida just glitched, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this wasn't supposed to happen, but it's going to be like high of like 48, 42 maybe. Um, I literally, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so that's kind of yeah. cool. So uh, I think we should go out to dinner. Yeah, I think or we're going to. I'm good. trying to find a restaurant now, which here it is three days before. Wait, yeah. what's day? 20, one, two, three. Yeah, three days before, and all the reservations are taken, so I'm not sure what we're going to do, so I'm... We might not end up at a restaurant that we absolutely want to be at, but okay. we'll, yeah. We'll be somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. Great. Yeah, we'll be somewhere. So anyway, so that's the plan for Christmas Eve. So things have changed a little bit. And then Christmas Day, we'll wake up here and hopefully Santa will have delivered some gifts. I don't know. Some people might be getting coal, uh, but we'll see. What about you, Alice? Are you going to get a gifty poo? And then... um. We'll head over to, after we open gifts, we'll head over to my sister's house for breakfast. Then we'll come back and play. Hopefully, maybe, well, I was gonna say go to the pool, but it's not going to be warm enough for that. So maybe we'll go skiing. <laughs> and then we're going to um, go over to mom and dad's for dinner and then uh, have a nice time. So I'm very much looking to spend the week here with our family. So I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, I do have to make, or I do want to make sure I put up videos the whole time, so I can't just slack off. So I'm trying to work ahead so I can get videos up for you guys. So it's very exciting, and I, I 
thrilled to um, show you our Christmas and thrilled to hear about your Christmas, Christmas as well, your holidays, how they're going. And happy Hanukkah to all of you, those of you celebrating Hanukkah right now. That is wonderful. And um, that's it for now. So I'm going to go ahead and go so I can get some stuff, some finish, some more stuff. And then hopefully when Ryan's finished working, doing his schoolwork, then we can um, play some cards. We've been dying to play some cards and watch movies as a family. Um, Brennan is going out with his friends tonight, but he'll be in. We made a deal. Yes, you can go out tonight because Ryan's still, it's a school night for him. And then tomorrow when Ryan's finished with school, then you uh, hang out and and hang out with us. So I think I've been blabbering way too much, but that's pretty much the lowdown on what's going on with us for Christmas. Um, Ryan's last day of school is tomorrow. He might get out half day because he's finished all of his exams. Um, he has one more uh, math thing to do tomorrow, so he's going to go in the morning and then maybe come home half day. All right, that's all I have for you. Hope you're doing well. There's Alice. Can you say Merry Christmas? Merry Christmas. Good girl. We are coming to the end of our night, and Katie, it is 10.52. She's making, look at my hair. You guys, I still didn't even shower yet today. <laughs> okay, don't tell anyone that. You Keep that quiet. Every day. Okay, if good. You, if you don't work out or you don't get sweaty, you don't have to shower every day, and that's my okay. take. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Thank you. Okay, my good. My I did today. You look great, yes. Nice. And we back. my back. Perfect. Anyway, so Katie's making ginger snaps at 11 o'clock at night. Ryan has just finished his homework. Hi, buddy. Hello. And he's sitting down watching the Santa Claus. Tomorrow he gets to go to school for a little bit of time. I need more water for my tea. Okay. And I don't know if you can tell, but I am not feeling so well. So I'm hoping that I'm not coming down with a cold. I'm hoping this is just allergies. I do not want to be sick for Christmas. I do not want to be sick for having everybody down, the family, everything. Well, you know what? We're not gonna get much sun this week, so can't even get healed by the sun. I know, and the salt water it's gonna be 35 degrees this you. Christmas, which is colder than it's been the past like five or six years. Christmases they in Maryland. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, Maryland. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, normally it doesn't even get, like we expect it to be cold and then it's like 50 and sunny, you know? Right, right. You're, that's a good point, Katie, it's a good point. Wouldn't it be funny if we saw snow here? I don't think that would happen. That would be shocking. It would be like, yes, but it would be really fun. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna say good night. What made you happy today, baby girl? <sighs> you know, today so started off kind of slow. And while it was the shortest day, technically, of the year, yes. it felt very long. It felt like a long day today. Oh, good. Um, good. My belly isn't feeling too good right now. I don't know what it is. We're both in. Um, I think the two of us should just snuggle up on the couch, watch the okay. Santa movie, and drink tea. We should do that. Let's not do cookies tonight. Well, what if I make Tomorrow. them really fast and throw them in the oven? Because then I'll be asleep at that time. Well, Ryan will snuggle with you, too. Anyway, I will see what we're going to do. Well, I, I Can wanna, I have a sleepover? I wanna, no, because I don't want to get you sick. I want to make cookies tomorrow. Personally, I like being sick. I, <laughs> I like getting on the gunk out. Oh. Except I did not like the flu. Yeah. I. Could have gone without that. And mono. <laughs> and mono. Mono is not. But mono. besides those two, <laughs> colds are fine. Well, strep. I don't like strep either. <laughs> but a regular, but besides those, a you're, cold, a common cold. Yes, your regular everyday cold. Get with that. Totally fine. All right, let me see what made, Kate, what made Ryan happy today. Mike is asleep on the couch, so he's not going to share. Ryan, do you mind sharing what made you happy today? Yes. Uh, what made me happy today was. Uh, I got a lot of schoolwork done. I know that's the boring answer. I know it's the bailout answer, but that's true. Uh, also, I just got to see my brother and sister. Um, so yeah, and uh, there's only one more day until Christmas break, so very excited. How about what happened in marketing today? Oh yeah, I, uh, I we presented our projects, and I was the best one. Basically, it class voted. Yeah, so it was a it was a project where you had to make a little business food truck, and uh, at the end you had to invest in one of the food trucks that someone presented, and mine got the most investments, so I get extra. Congratulations. You're welcome. All right, you guys, so um, what made me happy today was that story from Ryan. That was an excellent story. I'm so proud of him. It just makes my heart happy that all of his hard work paid off. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. Get a lot of sleep. Don't get a cold. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.